Jess Show presents Totally Normal Behavior. Starring Josh Scott and guest starring Daniel Danger. Man, we're really having a hard time finding new people for this show. Brought to you by <laughs> Reverb.com. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Hello. We're having a hard time finding a replacement for you. I've I've yeah. really looked. It just isn't working. It's been no. a while. How uh We last did an episode here after the Dallas Guitar Show. Yes. And before the Dallas Guitar Show, we had a bajillion pedals to show and we we're just very behind on the whole concept of this, yeah. which was originally, hey, let's show everything we're doing every month we've it's totally broken and we're just hanging out now and now it's just going to be one of these like possible hour and a half podcasts and there's a certain type of people that this is not for so if you don't like a lot of nerdy talking you might want to just go ahead and and watch like i don't know like like a what's a youtuber like a mr beast or something i don't know okay i mean i'm not going to give away a million dollars or a house or anything i'm definitely not going to grind up a ferrari today yeah all right. I have a I have a guitar over there. I'm probably not going to play it. You do. Let's start with you. Uh, yeah. Just walk through this chaos here. This chaos? Yeah, yeah. Just walk through it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, are we just diving right in? We're just I, diving right into like what we're doing. Let's pause. Let's not dive in. Let's catch yeah, up. Because I got to dive in. Yeah. Let's catch up. Let's catch yeah. up. All right. So, up. where do we start catching up? We have done. We've gotten, there's so much stuff. I really struggled with what to even show today. Yeah. Um, I don't even remember when Dallas was. Like, the summer feels like a black hole. Like, I yeah. I think this is my first summer where my daughter was, like, just kind of with us every day. Mm-hmm. And I have, time has lost all meaning. <laughs> um, yeah. I was like, no. Dallas could have been, I keep thinking it was like, that was in November, right? And it was like, I think it was in like May. It was it was spring because it was like a hundred degrees there because we were in oh, Dallas. Yeah. I don't remember. All I remember is we went to the site of the Kennedy assassination at night and walked around. That's like my yeah. only memory of that. And then yeah. there's pedals. But yeah, this yeah. pedal collecting thing, you know, this show is like if you're if you've never seen Totally Normal Behavior, we're just trying to document the insane behavior of collecting we've always made a joke it's totally normal behavior we were always we were saying to each other you know daniel would message me and be like i found this guy with a box and the box is printed different and i'm I'm working out this (laughs) thing and i'm going to trade a car for this box and we'd be like hashtag totally normal behavior and that's how the show kind of got started so yeah welcome if you're new it was yeah it was always us putting a happy little ribbon on um, on our broken (laughs) <laughs> broken broken brains um uh, yeah yeah i it was funny because the other day we have like a a group chat um that's just like a bunch of pedal nerds and i had posted a screen capture of my reverb purchases page and i was like i haven't bought a pedal in two months and we were all like you know like we we're like wow the self-restraint and then instantly i think it was like five hours later it was like a crazy thing came up we enable each other because you had been you've been on this kick of i've watched you really spiral away from the real love you've been collecting gi joes you've been collecting ninja turtles it's been fun to watch yeah and then i get these emails from people because people watch the show and we get a lot of stuff and joshua by the way joshua's here hey hi everyone he's uh he's gonna be moderating comments and hanging out but anyway um you know i'll get an email forward from him and it's like this this one particular thing is there's an estate sale and all this crazy stuff and I didn't yeah. need any of it but we I sent it to you and you were like I've yeah, never I seen started, the box for this and then I started digging through the photos because I, I do that thing you. where I'm just like I enabled looking, you yeah yeah and then you I had a good streak going and then you just ruined you yeah. you ruined me because that that estate sale was <laughs> truly insane um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't, there's not, there's the guy who's, the guy whose stuff it was, it doesn't seem like he was anyone of importance. I think he was just like a collector dude who probably just got into music and according, based on what was in that room, like a very specific era. Um, and then just didn't use 
any of it. So you sent me these photos and the entire wall of stuff is like, it's just all new old stock electro-harmonic stuff. From it was an email. If I had gotten it like four years ago, I would have, I would have like peed in my pants because yeah. it was just like stuff I've already collected, but I'd never seen it all together in like yeah. immaculate. And it was a very specific era. It was like 78, 82, just mm -hmm. this window. And he seems like he bought everything and then literally never used it. So yeah. I'm, you know, and I have a lot of this stuff, but a big part of it was that like, well, dude, that's like, that's untouched new old stock. That's this and that, like, that's the cleanest one I've ever seen. So I ended up um, contacting the company that does the estate sale. So when you like die and your, your kids don't know what to do with your stuff, like, you yeah. know, I should tell my daughter to watch this episode. She'll learn what to do. Um, I actually want to talk about death in a second, but keep going. Yeah, we will. Uh, you hire like Love an death. estate sale company and they come and they basically just like stay at your house. This guy says he's been working on this house for four months. The amount of stuff that yeah. there was 10,000 toy cars in the house Holy and then a basement Lord. full of music gear. And this was like, and I was just looking at the pedals. He started listing guitars for me and amps and everything. And I was like, not my area of expertise. Very cool. But I explained who I was and what I was doing. And I was like, there are certain things in in this guy's basement that I'm missing from sort of this company archive. We're doing the book project and I, I need these things. Um, so he was, I, I can't remember the dude's Jeff. I think his name was Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Um, Jeff. And he was super great and he didn't exactly cut me deals, but he was like, he's like, I'll work with you. You know, like I'll, I'll sell you this stuff way in advance. So I ended up buying handful of things from him. Um, we can, I'm not going to plug anything. It's in. funny. The last, the last big purchases I've made were from online estate auctions. I feel like there's a definite as a, as collecting goes and, and our little, we have a little group. We don't have a name, but we just talk. We have a thread that has been going for years. It's like me, you, Ed and Nick. And it is, it's we're, pedal gear. We're pedal like the gi pedal guild of insanity. We call it pedal guild of insanity. It's like an inklings for pedal nerds or something. I don't know. <laughs> and, and, there's this thing that I see happening. Um, and I say this in the, it can sound really arrogant. It's like, when I say this, I'll sound like an idiot. But what I mean is you kind of, the reverb keeps regurgitating stuff and yeah. you've seen it all. And I, like, I hate saying that. It's like, I've seen it all. That's not what I mean. Yeah. But there's this thing where there's some real treasures in estate sales and stuff. And it's yeah. interesting. And you, yeah. I think, you know, we, we have the routes that we look for things. Yeah. And it tends to be, we, we get into this mindset of like, well, if it's not on eBay and it's not on Craigslist and it's not on reverb, well, it must not be for sale. And like this estate sale is kind of like just further evidence that like, there's all these other avenues. If, if you kind of know where to look and all this crazy yeah. stuff's being sold that you never see, like chances are the person who's going to go into that basement and buy all those pedals is just like another reseller. Like, you know, it's like, it's going to yep. move around through people. Like I but, got a text yesterday, a friend in Michigan was at an estate sale and it, I sent that message and it's like a, like a no yeah. fill big muff for $90. Like, yeah, that's it was, wild. It was just clearly marked priced wrong. Like they looked at it and said, oh, a new big muff is, you know, 80 but bucks. It, that's never going to appear on the internet. So it's interesting. No. I, um, um, yeah, the estate sale thing yeah. is wild. Let's talk about death. Yeah. Joshua, are you excited about this? Love it. I'm ready. Okay. Center yourself. Let's. Wait, that's, there we go. I have I have extreme uh I have extreme rule of thirds OCD. Okay, <laughs> so death, Daniel. We've talked about this. We're talking about estate sales. What? So I have somewhere around. It's almost probably six thousand ish. It's probably fifty five hundred pedals now. You have an insane collection, which is like you have this specialty like aliens would abduct your collection because it's so specific and like haunting mine mm. is just like a little bit it's like the flea market of the world um i'm like the uh what's that store the restaurant that has the menu that's way too, cheesecake factory cheesecake factory, my collection yeah. is like cheesecake factory yours is God. like I've, <laughs> I've never thought about it in that way but that's so yeah. right because there's so much crap in there you came in and you were like you're impressed i mean you know but yeah. you're like you're like You've had a I'm saying. like a fine Brazilian steakhouse. <laughs> and I'm Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> and you're Cheesecake Factory. But what happens to us when we die? Like, we talked about this. Yeah. I And my wife sometimes, she doesn't, 
think you know no one's sitting around thinking about death like this daily but it's like this is kind of nuts you get into yeah. the estates like what happens to your collection it happened this is what happens you die and if like you don't make a plan for it mm -hmm. like your kids are just going to go like I don't know. And then they're going to hire an estate song company. And then Jeff is going to come in Jeff. and good old Jeff and Jeff's going to come in and live in that house for a couple months and be cleaning everything up and then sell it off. And then your kids are going to get, you know, 60% on the dollar. Um, I love these comments. This says, dark star says, whoa, things are getting heavy. And then Caber Wilson says the real Jeff is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of talking about it's interesting yeah. that Reverb, uh, thanks, Reverb, by the way. You're, uh, yeah, Reverb's a sponsor of the show. But thanks, Reverb, for uh, what you do. But, you know, we're at a point where these, like, eBay and Reverb are starting to regurgitate a lot of vintage stuff, which that doesn't mean. Yeah. That's hard for people with big collections, but it's still a great place to obviously collect stuff. But yeah, it's, it's just a cool point. And so when we do die, if you're in the comments, um, let's do some kind of poll about who, what collection do you want? Do you want Cheesecake Factory or the fine Brazilian thing? Let's do a poll. Okay. Dark Star, it wrote like, my parents died and it was shocking how all of their precious things were worthless, basically. Mm. I think that's like, for a lot of people that is ends up being a real problem because it's like you know, like my collection a fine brazilian steakhouse so uh, daniel is the fine brazilian steakhouse i'm cheesecake yeah. factory yeah go ahead daniel yeah um there's this great documentary i mean it's not a great documentary but it's worth watching and it's this kid who's uh it's not a kid he's like a 30 something year old dude and in the 80s his dad uh, ran a, a chain of sports collectible card, like a sports collectible sports cards stores. He had like an entire chain of them. And he was like the guy for collectible sports cards in this era. And everyone knew who he was. He did the show, he did all the, the trade shows and you know, the whatever, the hotel convention shows. Yeah. So his dad died and in his will, his dad left him this massive sports, like baseball card collection. And the dude hired a documentary team and got this whole thing together to like, he's like, well, I'm inheriting, we're going to like document going and getting this collection and going through it and then bringing it to like, um, you know, other high end card collectors and seeing what it's worth. And the documentary just takes this insane turn almost immediately because like the collection is worthless. It is like room filling, but like it's worthless. And maybe in, you know, 1991, it was worth a million dollars, but like no one cares now. Wow. And all that stuff came out about how like all the cards were like grossly overprinted and they were like, you know, faking the rarity and et cetera. And it's just funny because this dude has to just deal with the fact that like, oh, like my dad thought he was doing this cool thing, leaving me this like insane collection. And then actually it's worthless. And as much as I'm sitting here going like, well, my collections were something, but in, you know, in you know 30 is years it? yeah 30 40 years i croak and like is anyone give a, gonna give a shit about this like i don't know well i think you know because ai is gonna replace all art right i mean we're never gonna need people to do... <laughs> if you want to trigger daniel <laughs> just scream ai at him my god <laughs> i posted gonna... the episode yesterday and all i see is tiny media empire says you know i hate this <laughs> don't like this hey daniel um yeah ai <laughs> ah. listen i will i will i will rant about it and how it, it is we might do that in a minute. Let's yeah, let's what, show what we're doing. Let me quickly well, show. We've got we've got the um yeah we we have to talk about the estate sale. Well, two things. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah. We we've talked about this. Is that like my plans? My like if something happens to me, plans for this collection is is short term. It's not like what is my yeah. kid going to do with it in forty years. It's like if anything happens to me, yeah. my wife basically knows to call you yep. or email a person. I'm not going to say on the air. Um, they know they know because if if she comes to you you'll know what to do with it you'll know what things are yeah like it's... i think a lot about my uncle my uncle died and he had this he had a massive like gun collection assault mm -hmm. rifles a, a room filling gun collection which is funny because he was just like a man who ran a golf course in it's totally normal behavior yeah. 
and his wife didn't know anything about any of it so when he died his wife was just like oh i don't want this stuff and just someone came in and bought the whole collection for probably pennies on the dollar and out the door it went um yeah so it's like because she didn't have a you to contact so yeah. like, like i said it's a it's a weird thing but we have had that conversation if something happens to me my wife calls you or person x so um, no yeah and i think i that's the best thing to do is like have having that connect with someone else there's a comment here um what if josh dies first oh i get the company you oh. you get the company yeah yeah we've i think we've about talked this. about this but the company's not the collection so i have oh, you know right. when you own a you know i have to I have an estate plan like what happens to the company there's a succession of a succession yeah yeah like who takes it over but the collection is interesting and i basically told my wife the same thing like daniel would need to come and like he knows yeah you know like well, give uh, give daniel the link to the inventory software he'll go through it. he knows what i have basically pedal guild of insanity would um yeah would, pedal. would all fly in we'd have we'd carry your giant cardboard box um casket <laughs> into a, a Hold giant on. <laughs> dude for real i want a casket that's corrugated cardboard from uline and i want yeah. it like I just, well, maybe not you line. Maybe not, but it's beautiful. Like because as I rot, it rots. Yeah, I want I want a cardboard box that's in the shape of a coffin, and it's got like the microgramma font on it. Says like Daniel Danger, and then like yeah. my dates, and then like knobs the built box. into it that like just turn on LEDs or like something. Dude, um, LEDs like stages yeah. of like how yeah. like maybe there's a like as you're decomposing, oh, it's I got there's it. like triggers that light different LEDs above the ground. Ellie, like um, uh, like a solar powered gravestone that goes down to the casket, and then there's like a noise, like an RTG in it that just makes beep boop noises in inside my cardboard coffin until it all deteriorates. Inside like my cardboard band. coffin is my favorite um, Sunny Day Real Estate song. <laughs> <laughs> I think like um, <laughs> we promise we're gonna start showing pedals, and we're gonna yeah, we're play not, them. But we we're gotta probably not going to no. We... Um, <laughs> I think I think if um, I think if you die first, your memorial service will be a giant tag sale in the parking lot of Sweetwater, <laughs> where we Pedal Guild of Insanity will come out. We'll price everything in the collection, like with those hanging tags. Yeah, and then we'll get a we'll get a bunch of big old tents, like pop up tents. Yeah, actually, no, we're gonna need we're gonna need like a wedding. A wedding's worth of massive tents and tables. Emily and the Harpist, you... you're in the chat. I see you. Would you play at my funeral? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Belle so also gonna... said she'd put your favorite batteries in your hand. Oh, that's <laughs> sweet, Belle. Yeah. I want a bouquet of like patch cables. Um, but yeah, it'll be a tag sale. And then everyone can come and buy a piece of the, you know, of, of the Josh Scott pedal collection. Not um, a piece of me, but like a piece yeah, of me. Yes. And then if I die first, um, it, you'll you'll get the collection. And then um, for, let's say, $200,000, yeah. just write, me a, write my wife a check. <laughs> yeah, I would figure that out. But here's the problem. Yeah. If you die, either way, we both end up with each... We Let me... How do I... Have hold a, on. We... <laughs> If if I die first, you get my collection, but then you die and your wife's stuck with both our collections Okay, here, and vice versa. Okay, so that's a nightmare. This. All right. Half the reason we both collect this stuff is because of each other. Oh. So if one of us dies, we both have the sale at Sweetwater because we're out. We're free. We're like the genie with a bracelet. You've coming. always said, I wish yeah. I could. We've both said this. We've yeah. marked and been like, I wish there was a button to hit and undo the whole thing. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. if in the and comments, if you collect stuff, if you're a collector, do you ever, it gets so overwhelming, all these pedals, that I want to hit a button and just go like, it never happened. And Daniel's expressed this to me. <laughs> My mind is going to Sorry. touch dark, dark there is, Well, share, what, where is your mind No, going? no, I can't say it publicly, but. There is an incredible joke in the comments. <laughs> what is from it? From Father Jordan. <laughs> I'd like to say a few Jordan. words about the deceased, but first my clean tone. <laughs> 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 
yeah i think that's i think that's the agreement if one of us dies okay call up sweetwater <laughs> give them let them have their, their parking lot or whatever or reverb i don't know um one we get yeah. a parking lot and we both both collections are sold to the public one carnivore says you guys should never be on the same plane at the same time i'm just we, saying we don't. if one of you dies the other has to die <laughs> I have That's children. That's the only fix for this. <laughs> we both have children, Joshua. That's not my fault. <laughs> you have a point. Yes. I My child needs me for the next, like, five years, and then she's going to hate my guts. Um, no, <laughs> I I think we should we should virtually shake on this, that if one dies. Um, wait, can we – how do I do this? Hold I on. Gotta, I'll mirror. Do I'll do my yeah. – here you go. Am I, I – I don't see your hand. You have to put it in front of you. Put your hand. No, I, I'm trying to do through the split screen. Yeah, me too. But you're in the wrong spot. I'm in the wrong way. It just... <laughs> Y'all are really. Bad I don't know how this. to do this. <laughs> Emily said she'd play both your funerals. Okay. See, all it's right. gonna be yeah. What if oh, we yeah. do die in the same place? Yeah, we do die in the same. Well, plane. if we die in the same place, we've traveled a ton together. We're always on separate flights. We're gonna die in an old barn or shed. We've been in yeah. basement sheds together, abandoned yeah. buildings. We're gonna we die a in a building that kills us. We did almost die of black mold poisoning. Yeah, we literally could. You literally hallucinated. I got really sick. Yeah, you may remember. Yeah, we were all together for that one. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, a the steakhouse is winning. By the way, you're frozen. Yes. Uh, his his audio's on. We're gonna let it roll. He has a camera thing. All right. I'm gonna show while you're dealing with your camera. Um, let's look at my top down. I'm gonna go through what I have here. I was really struggling on what to show. Um, so in our pedal guild group, we we have yeah. A look. Just, I'm going to leave his audio on so you can hear him struggling yeah, under me. That's great. All right. So this exciting fuzz is very exciting. I would say it's one of the more exciting things. We've had a lot of talk about this. Um, Ed, Ed kind of showed me this existed. And then I actually have found two of them. I have one of them I'm reverse engineering. But it's kind of a fuzz right clone. And it's Murano. Murano or Murano. And it's a Japanese made fuzz that... Moreno or Marano, I don't know how to pronounce it became Roz. Um, so you've seen us talk about Roz. So this is an early iteration of that company. Super rare. I'll play it. And then you have these triangle, this this triangle series. Now I actually messaged um Ed. We need to get Ed and, and Nick on here. I'll, maybe we get Ed on the next one and Nick on the one after that, or we all four maybe we all four do a conversation that bores the world to death. But these are is Ishibashi, which is a distributor in Japan, they had like they do pedal lines from from time to time, and um, these are, I think they're from the '90s. People say they're from the '70s. They look they're more modern. I believe they're definitely a '90s thing. If you have any information on these Ishibashi um, triangle series, this is an envelope filter, and this is a fuzz. This is kind of a uh, kind of a. Uh, it's also a Maserati thing, or a, or a no, no, it's a fuzz tone, I believe. It's, I think it's a Maestro fuzz tone. Um, we actually would love some info on this. The Pedal Guild of Insanity is having a hard time, kind of understanding these. But these took forever to find. My uh, friend in Japan was very kind, and I traded him some valuable stuff, and finally got a hold of these. Um, let's see here. Uh, also, then next, this is a real doozy. This is a very, very rare um, effect. Now, it is a toy car, and I first saw this in the Stomp Box book. There's a collector who, I see, Daniel, you're back. Good job. But there's a, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll keep going through these. We got to do it anyway. So this is the, um, it's a Stomp Box fuzz that someone in Japan, again, I would like more info. There's some there's some viewers out there that watch the show from Japan I know. So that a lot of all of this is Japanese and it's a bit of a mystery. So chime in, you know, comments or email us later and be sure to follow normal behavior on Instagram. Is it normal behavior? Yeah, normal behavior. 
But yeah, this is a really cool fuzz. I'll play this first, but it's a highly collectible thing. I found it in a guitar shop that also sold meat. That's called Meat and Guitars. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a thing, and it still kind of smells like meat. And then um, my last piece, and then I'll let Daniel go through his stuff. We have, uh, this is, I mean, I have several of these, but this one's pretty special. It showed up in a social media group, and I kind of got a hold of the guy. It was covered in paint. He did a good job of removing it, but this is what really matters, and I'll show it. This. This. You do. Yeah, you have the box, so there you are. All right. Yeah. Andy Sorry. says perma meat. Perma meat. Yeah. Yeah. You look um, good. That's a good camera angle. Nobody cares. Yeah, my camera, um, I don't know what the deal is. It, like, does not hold a charge at all, ever, and the battery dies. It's the ghost time. of Steve Jobs. Yeah. I think I've been booted off every episode that I've done with on this show. That's fine. Anyways. Show what you got so there. We can still see everything. Sale, a state sale guy. Yeah. Um, some of the things that I got. Uh, a new old stock, a Tactic A which is wow. one of my favorite pedals ever and uh, unused as always printed inside a memory man box. That's unreal. Yes. Tell people Just, you, I mean, we have a good theory. Why do you see this, the double printing? Um, because, well, what's funny is that for these big boxes, it's way more memory mans yep. than, um, anything else so my theory is that because there's so many versions of the memory man and they happen pretty quickly is that they probably thought whatever the this earlier version it's, it's a this is like a v3 memory man um they probably thought this was the one and then made just like a ton of boxes and then quickly got to stereo memory man got to the deluxe memory man and yeah. then we're like these weren't selling and then because we know that mike was just like how to save a penny here and there. Yeah. He's just like, flip them inside out, print on the inside, you know? Yeah. So, like there's just a stack of memory man boxes and they're just using them. Yeah, I'm curious, like what else, if there's anything inside this one? Nope, that one's simply. Um, yeah, memory man inside is the most common thing. But so I got a, one of my favorite pedals ever. Um, Palmetto, Palmetto Pedals, a really cool pedal company, by the way, says the Attack Decay is such a good looking pedal. That whole era, that yes, microgramma era yeah this oh, is when they like okay. definitely like their like visual language was the most consistent yeah so i got that um i got one of my absolute like white whales of white whales this um, was insane that you this was crazy because um yeah. so if you go to the the eh ehxbook.com i have a want list of things that i'm looking for and this is this is on there this particular one so the amatron is a mono to stereo like micro delay saturation thing yeah, yeah. um it's uh original the original amatron which is i have one up there was um uh this was howard davis right yeah amatron is yeah. howard the only yeah. other one of this i've seen was in his apartment yeah so it was made so he could listen to mono jazz records in stereo and then they kind of built it into a pedal and it's basically mm -hmm. built on the same platform as the memory man the solid state reverb it's just like really short delay times with some different options um so i have i have two of them because i'm just because naturally because naturally i have two of them but so i saw this and i was like well i don't have the box for one so i was like i it was talking with you and it's like i'm really just interested in the box but i'll have to buy it um but it was like same thing like new old stock never used and then i had that when i actually was finally talking to the guy he opened it up and it was the inverse one which is it's so nice i honestly brown. think there's it's probably so 10 there's probably 10 of those did you I mean, say I know what year it came out this is 81 i think that's such a good 80. brown it's so it's so living roony brown yeah, right now. Yeah, like, look so at this. Good. Just look at this. How brown that is. Look at um, it. Look at it. So I know where two of these are. Uh, Raf Max has one in France. Yep. Uh, Davis Howard Davis has one. Mm -hmm. And I've seen well, I have three because I saw I, I saw a picture of one once. So this was like an absolute holy grail of holy grails for me. Yeah. The government um, has one. Just the government. Find, yeah, finding an Amatron alone is next to near impossible. Finding a box, new old stock one, is unobtainium. 
finding the inverse one. So let me hold on one second. There we go. What am I doing? It's just a uh, super box. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't see the stingers. So very excited about that. And then um, I bought, I mean, I bought a, a handful of things. I bought a complete set of the Dan Electro, like this series. Yeah, you did. These is I bought the classic series. Yeah. I bought the whole, the whole set boxed. Um, I bought a uh, electro harmonics talking pedal, which is kind of like a fancy wah they made that was just like the same thing, new old stock. He had tons and tons of other stuff that was like pristine. It was just all things that I owned. Um, so, and then the other thing that I was really excited about was that I got to move. Um, I want to see if, um, to, uh, well, this is all there, I guess. I'll just turn this a little bit and then aim it down. Yeah. You know, um, we're just, yeah, it works. Yeah. You're also so, really good at staging. You're you're the best stager of us. I'm I'm stage tastic. So he had um in the photos that he originally uh that you sent me, uh I saw this, which yes. is let me hit the it box. again. Yeah, this is a crazy box. Yes. Um the the box for the RTG, I've literally never even seen a photo of one, never mind seen one. I don't know. I don't think I know anyone who has one of these. There's the same thing. Raf Max might because he has a photo of one of these and there's a box close to it, but it's not, he didn't show this. Yeah. So he can chime in if he has another one, but I had never seen one. And I love this goofy, goofy little unit. So if there's any question as to what the RTG is, um, it is, I don't know where to put this here, I guess. Yeah. Um, the RTG is stands for random tone generator, and it is just kind of the classic small electro harmonics. Um, they make enclosure. a new, they make a little cheap yeah. nano version they of this. It in like yeah, two thousand um, thirteen. I don't know. Mm -hmm. This is the original one, um, and there's just one output and power. There's no switch. There's a knob and there's a glide switch, and all it does is it makes little space noises. You want to demonstrate um, it? Yes. Uh, let's go with blue one. Mm. Let's speed it up a little bit. Good. Now, let's just sit with this for a moment. Yeah, just in the comments, how does it make you feel? Yeah. I, I find it to be therapeutic. So, let's turn this down a little bit. Is that loud? I can't tell. Um, I, I think it. it's fine. It's good. Okay. You got to wake so, people up. This sounds, this sounds like useless, right? It just sounds like it's done a thing. Well, let's put let's put some of that wasabi delay on it. The Friday Night Lights delay. Can I play along to this? You can try. It's atonal. And it's just like peaceful. It's just peaceful little sound. Can you, you want to do some like spoken, let's do like a 30 second, let's, so, let's keep, yeah. I have, I have one, I have one going really slow, and I have a second one that's going to go um, a little bit faster. It sounds like wind chimes, that's amazing. I took a walk this morning. I was just with my dog, Nixie, and as we were walking down the street, I saw a little man. I couldn't tell if he was walking towards me fast or slow, but he was walking towards me. Nixie got really nervous, and she tried to run away, but obviously I love my dog so much. And so I had to pick her up, and picking her up made me remember the time that I was just a child. and My mom picked me up when I was scared. It was raining that day, and there was water coming underneath the door. And when I saw water coming under the door, I remembered that once upon a time I lived in a dark bath of water. And I could hear the sounds of my mother's heartbeat. And when I heard the sounds of my mother's heartbeat, I remembered I came from above, from the world of forms. Am I the image of the perfect human being? 
Someone in the comments said slint. <laughs> you ever heard slint? It does sound like slint. This was... I feel like this is the most elevated TNB we've ever done. It's like we've matured. Yes. And, uh, so, back here I have the two RTGs. <laughs> I have, um, a sequencer. Which is literally just steps through... Let's turn this off. Brett B asks, can he hear the clean tone? There's no clean tone. <laughs> it's this. So... Ah, oh, it's so... Ah. Oh. You're Whoa. dropping beats, bro. Alright, let's see, let's see. I'm a pedal collector and I'm here to say We got the best pedal collections in the USA. All my homies... I don't know. I'm not a good rapper. I never claim to be a great rapper. Me neither. But this beat is inspiring. I feel like, like I feel like if Belle was here she could rap. But like Daniel's head movement is perfect. I feel interpretive dance though. I feel something happening in me. Yeah. This is just the nine inch nails B side from the soundtrack of some movie I never watched. Yeah. Uh, that's all that nonsense. So, that was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. I feel so good the thing right about now. this, the thing about this pedal in particular, is really funny to me. Is that like on you know, I'll just put this back on real quick and yeah, like um, slow. <laughs> it, how quickly it just sounds like a weird like. I feel like right now tone. that tone just healed somebody's leg or something. <laughs> It sounds it, like like the movie Silent Running. Oh yeah. It's just... Carol Matt said all these tones were making her sick to her stomach. <laughs> That's why we're here. Healing and killing. There's a dissonance there that's crippling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I would sit in a room and just like bathe in this. Do the like sound bath thing. It's just so pleasant. Bathing. Bathing in sound. It's a sound bath. That's literally what he just said. Well, I'm just, I'm verbalizing the oh, thought. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, I get it. I get it. I need to get one of these and hook them up to my uh, Maestro Rovers. You know what would be cool? Extra spinning. In the comments, someone said the boss slicer. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. It, like, chops it up. All right. What hmm. else you got there? What are you doing there? Is that, oh, that's the drum. The DRM32. Yeah, yeah. DRM32 by Elica Harmonics is another, like, rarity. Ah, oh, that's so good. It just feels like you just turned on Kid A or something, and, you know, it's like... Oh, a royal fuzz on that. The truth is, this is very cool. Let's keep it going. My guitar is out of tune, but it feels right. Let's scale that. That jam didn't go anywhere. It didn't. You failed. It didn't go anywhere. But when I turn my volume off, the fuzz car does this. I'm in the fuzz car. Okay, let's, let's try it again. Try it again. I have a tone generator in my guitar now. Can't play to it because there's a lag. Hold on. I tried. All right. Yeah. 
I feel exhausted and renewed. <laughs> Just excited about this stupid box. And this it's... stupid pedal that makes everything sound like a 70s space yeah. film. Just love you. I love that I you have two. You have two of yeah. those. If you want to sell one, let me know. Or if you die, I'll get it. Yeah, yeah. that's true. You should just wait. We should just wait out my death. Why do we even trade? We trade a lot. We should just wait on each other to die. Or it could be like a spy versus spy thing where we're just constantly trying to kill each other to inherit the other person's cell collection. That, that's the way. Yeah. That is the way. All right. All right what, moving on. Yeah, what else you got? Um, well, that's what I got from, um, yeah. from What's-His-Face, dude. Yeah. Uh, why don't you show something? Yeah. While I try to get my camera running again. Let me jump over to um Yeah, let's jump over to this. Ooh, fancy. I didn't think that would work. Let's uh this toy car fuzz. It's a fuzz face, but it's just amazing. I might have to have Boki help. I don't know. This is like a nightmare product. Oh, it works. Okay. So what happens is you push this in turns it on god help us love it wow i'm out of tune should i tune on yeah i should Probably. i should this is not the show to care about problems i'm just trying to show people that we're real we put our pants on like we everybody else I've never put pants on. You're not. <laughs> Joshua never wears pants. Ever. That's not what I said. Here we go. That is sizzly. Yeah. Yeah. This. So many tones. So many tones. Yeah, that's this pedal. Whatever. Did that fix it? I, you know, it's all about interference. It's in a plastic. It's weird. All right, man, that is very noisy. Anyway, back to split screen. There you go. Look I'm at back. you. We'll see how long the battery lasts. I'm gonna have, yeah. have a lot of. Someone get Sony on the phone so I can yell them. Yell yeah, them. we'll just keep. I'll keep. Yeah, there we go. Um. All right. And uh, speaking of this oh, guy. this is insane. So I've always wanted a royal fuzz. We'll move this. I've always wanted a royal fuzz. We almost uh, got you one in Dallas. Yes, and I'm glad I didn't buy it. <coughs> yeah, it wasn't like of the various. I like, sneezed from the dust off that box. Yes, it's it smells like something. All right, I know what it smells um, like. Japanese like super fuzz variants. Daniel's like, just still going. He doesn't care about you or what you're saying. What I missed, but <laughs> I I played the perma moist stinger and you were just like oh. just flawlessly pushing through I it. Can't, I can't hear your stingers. We'll figure it out I later. I it's hear, fine. I don't hear the stingers. It's fine. Um, but the the royal fuzz is like the nastiest sounding one. It's oh, it's like, brutal. It's 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 the one. most angry hornets sound. Um, yeah, go get it. Uh, and I'd kind of just been putting off buying one for years because they're so they're always so beat up and so destroyed. And um, then I found one with this little guy, which is is the only one I've ever seen. As far as I know, Josh, have you ever seen this box before? That box is one of those. No, you just these Japanese products. No, you no one knew there was a box because you kind of assume this would show up in some plain white box like the Shine stuff. Yeah, it's an unbelievable. Is that a guitar neck as like a highway or something? Uh, it's a guitar neck. It's got a little crown on it. Um, yeah, here's what I want to know real quick. On the back of yours, what does it say? So, like, mine says, there's two versions of this. Let me get my fate. One says Thunder Electronics, and one doesn't. What does yours say? Mine says Royal 
Royal Company Limited Tokyo Japan RF1. Right. Here it says TF1. Yeah. They're the same thing though, and then the Thunder Electronic is like a they they changed names or were bought out. I don't know. There's a lot of mystery to Royal. I'm I just said that mine was better, but then I realized that yours says like Thunder on it, and that's actually better. <laughs> that's a better pedal. Are you gonna play that? You should play it. It's like it's Give me a play it. One. Yeah, I'll play it. Let's play it. Oh, I'm on there we go. I mean Thunder Electronic. Thunder. Oh, I wanna bring that back. I wanna revive that company. Let's do it. All right. Whatever you're, whatever you're um, reviving next, cancel it and revive Thunder Electron. <laughs> there. Let me say this to the viewers: There's no way on the face of God's green earth this is gonna work. I haven't plugged it in in so long. It probably doesn't have a. It probably has no battery. We'll just. This is the life. I love the Jamie Stillman episode he did on Reverb. Is like all my broken pedals. Yeah, this one didn't work when we got it. Let's see. It used it worked at one point, but oh. what? 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 What is happening? Stick that my worked. phone under there. Oh my gosh, oh. dude! It's Ooh. like. It is Hold on. They could have done this. I always say, like, they could have played this. Can you imagine? So when you play above the 12th fret, it's a... So it's a very, uh, you know, it's an octave fuzz. It's like a... I guess it's a super fuzz. It's most likely most of the Japanese things are super fuzzes. Yeah. I... Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the Royal Fuzz is like the Little Debbie of desserts. It's like, right? It's a dessert. But that's why it's so special. It's just trash. Really? Can't hear him? Yeah. It is out. His audio is out. That's nice. Uh, hello? Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Okay, Wait. what happened there? I don't know. Did you touch something? It's the oh, ghost of Steve Jobs. I am annoyed. Yeah, hello. confirm y'all can hear him. I see him in the program mix. Again, hello? if you're hello? if you're hanging out. Hello? I'm showing up in the thing here. Like. You hear him? I, I am... Um, don't yeah. know what's happening. You weren't showing up in the in the live mix, but I see it visually, so it suddenly appeared. What is going on here? I what? have Daniel back. Cool. You You're back. YouTube. You're fine. What? Can I play what? the I'm gonna play the triangle fuzz. Okay. How long did we not hear him? I I don't actually know. Hey chat. How long was Daniel missing? What do you guys want Daniel to talk about? And I'll play the triangle fuzz and we'll come back. This is, we're embracing chaos and I love Someone it. Someone told I, me to hold up the box. Yeah, hold I it up. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Tell me if you want this on, this should be printed on like one of those like soccer, like soccer, European soccer shirts. Oh, you should do a shirt. If he does this shirt, who will pre-order it? Drop that in the comments. Yeah, make that poll in there. Like this should be like either like a like a baseball shirt, like a raglan, like with like colored uh, like a uh, a ringer shirt or something like that. Why but, does it? So I just noticed it says Royal Fuzz Cry. That was the model. They actually. Uh, I think they they well, it's covered over in red marker or something like that. So maybe they painted over it for some reason. I've I never don't know. seen. I, the I don't cry. have an answer for that. This box is. Um, held together by an angel's wish is it perma moist 
Let's, you take a look inside and you tell me if you think this what this what this oh, smells like yeah. in there. Yeah. Oh, it's it's we had to put an tonight. air purifier in my office because it's full of boxes just like that. Yeah. That's a true story. Like we would walk in and immediately start sneezing. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me play this uh, triangle fuzz here. Let's see. Have you ever heard the triangle fuzz? Me? Daniel? Yeah. Uh, didn't Ed have one? I th I think he does. I can't remember what he has. He has a lot of stuff. It runs on a double A battery. That's fun. So maximum fuzz. Again, if you know anything about this Ishibashi series, if if you're in Japan and you have knowledge, we think it's from the 90s. Yeah. All What's right. that pedal called? Someone That's, says that logo reminds me of PV. It does kind of look like it, PV. It is. It's a. It's called the Triangle Fuzz, uh, and then there's the Triangle, um, the Triangle in E N V envelope, and these are made by Ishibashi, which is a Japanese distributor. They have, they're the people that did like the Colored Rats, and they do a lot of exclusive stuff as a huge distributor. A lot of times when you see Japanese limited run things, they're the ones doing them. Like, they have a couple, you know, tube screamers that are limited to them. There was, yeah, they're just like a, a big deal in Japan. Okay. They look great. Yeah, they do. Mm. I've played everything here. Haven't um, I? What have I not played? I don't know. Everything the, that's on um, the table. I don't want to... I don't want to play the Sam Ash. I just wanted to show that box and be like, I do have one quick thing to show. Yeah. So, um, move. We got to move things again. Ooh, what is uh, this? Oh, uh, I've never seen so that. There's, box. A, there's this, this, a man named Sam. Sam runs a, uh, combo, uh, piano organ repair company called combo repair. He's on Instagram and such. Okay. Um, so he, he found this, uh, which is Prozac, uh, a the wow. new fuzz, but it's new waffas, new waffas. That's amazing. I got a super box that as well. This is the most super boxes we've ever had. Super we are rich in box. Look at this. Look at this. That is so beautiful. I only have the fuzz, the Rosac fuzz. Yeah. I don't have that. I don't have that pedal. It's got this big, like, funky red switch on it. Um, you know, nothing too crazy here, but like, it's just the Rosac fuzz. It reminds me of the, the Jordan Jordan's Creator fuzz. kind of thing. Or the, but it's, I just got that Honer pedal you told me to buy. It looks like that. Wait, oh yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, Sam was great and he drove out here and delivered it to me and kind of showed him the collection. So if you have a Is it this combo. is this the same thing? Or is it different? Uh it, it's different because okay. mine has like switches and stuff on both sides. Yeah. Um This is basically a wah with a big muff in it, right? Yeah. Well, what is that? I don't know. I haven't even plugged it in. I don't know. The uh the big muff, the honer big muff. The Tri Dirty Muff is the best sounding muff ever. True story. Good luck finding one because I still don't have one and you have two. Do I have two or three? I don't remember. If you have a three, I will kill you. <laughs> I think I just have the two. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's something that I ended up with another one of recently just because like it just happened. Because um, yeah, it just happened. Because it just happened. Really a lot of things just happened. You like it's. I literally like I will wake up in the morning. And I'll like be asleep and I'll like open up Instagram and like um, Nick is in Europe. So he's over, he's hours ahead of us. He's already awake. He's showing me links. The and problem asleep, with I'm the like, guild oh, is I'll like we have him in Europe and it's a constant influx of opportunities. Yeah. It's 24 seven obsession. Yeah. I mean, I bought. I, I feel like this is what people with more than two kids say. Like, I don't know. It just happens. Yeah, exactly. It does. 
Um, I I bought an extreme. Well, it'll be for next episode when it, it arrives. Yeah. But I bought an extremely extremely rare Japanese Big Muff clone this morning at like what seven six o'clock seven o'clock yeah. in the morning. I saw the like thread. That. I actually didn't have time to look yeah, through the thread. Was, you were um, panicking though. I yeah. saw a comment. It was like the link's not working, and it was like I could feel you dying. There's something happened yeah. anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, what else you got? I, you know, other than that, it's just that Sam. I, I feel like I've shown everything. Um. Well. Uh. I guess we need to uh, round the corner. I don't know. No, I got, I got a, I oh. got a non-pedal thing that I think right. is 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 funny and amusing, and people who like dumb shit will uh, appreciate. Okay, a non-pedal um, thing. So I think in the process of like as we've been working on the book and doing the show and doing all the releases and whatnot, whatnot, um, pedals just became like a job for me. Like I just, un I made the mistake of monetizing my own hobbies again, which is what I always do. My wife says um, I can't have a hobby. Yeah. So I, uh, in through like COVID era, I just been like, one of the things I kind of just got into was like, carded old carded action figure collecting i just basically buying all the gi joes i had as a kid and one of the things that i got really into and have have been having a lot of fun with is like bootleg action figures from overseas okay um and something i stumbled into recently that is it's just too weird to exist um so he-man figures masters of the universe everyone knows <laughs> everyone our age knows he-man right you told me about this yeah, oh yeah. My God. everyone knows about this um he-man figures huge blah 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 so whenever something gets made especially in that era like you know the toy company finishes making whatever the hasbro's toy run they're just going to keep making things yeah and what the result of is that there's about a bazillion um like bootleg masters of the universe figures that are just like the same you know your camera's out here. again congratulations Son of a <laughs> god dang it <laughs> Ended this camera to me and it <laughs> sucks and I hate it. We we use it. We use the same yeah. camera. Why does yours not die every four seconds? I, you know, I feel like it's it's the world's against you. All right. Well, this camera looks good. You're fine. Yeah. So there's all these like bootleg like they're just Masters Universe figures. Like they're the same bodies, but they um. Dude, this they're is just, hilarious. Pirates yeah. of the Galaxy. Pirates of the Galaxy, right? Seas. Galaxies. Yeah, but they're all just like the builds, like that's just Skeletor, like let's be honest. So there's a ton of these. There's a ton of like Masters of the Universe, but not Masters of the Universe. Like look at this satanic looking dude. Look at him, look at him, right? Whoa. This is like a- Love like a man with ram's horns. Warriors of the world, right? They're Worlds. Just, you know, yeah. So these, the as I went down, like these were made by this company Remco and Remco just made Lots of cool action figure lines that are legitimate. But as you go down the chain of bootlegs of bootlegs of bootlegs, okay. it gets way and more and more sketchy. And I stumbled into a collection recently that I bought off the guy for like nothing. I was like, I think it'd be like 40 bucks for it. Um, but it turns out that at some point in the early 90s, someone had uh, the thought that was like, hey, treasure trolls. Remember treasure trolls? They yeah, were a dude. big thing. Yeah. Treasure yeah. trolls were a big thing. But the problem was treasure trolls little girly right yeah they're little little they're not they're the not, working they man can't buy a treasure troll we're, yeah the the boys don't want to play with the treasure trolls they're like they got little nipples and jewels on them and like hair i don't want a toy with nipples homes. yeah what you want you want to tr you you like the idea of treasure trolls but you need a treasure troll for boys show me oh, show and me so i found oh, a no. collection of treasure trolls for boys called troll force <laughs> <laughs> This one, his name is uh, Soldiers. His name is Desert Patrol. He's like ripped. Troll. He's because it's just the He-Man body. It's just like the it's the He-Man body. He even has the little loincloth and everything, but he's like ripped. That's Troll Force. He's that is desert. horrifying. Like that's he's, a nightmare. Oh, this is Jungle Fighter, right? This is um this is Desert Patrol. Oh Look at this. no. Look at oh, look at Troll. Where Force. did you get this? So I found this guy on eBay because I'll search like I'll just search like Remco mint on card and I'll just look for like old action figures that are still sealed. 
And so um, it's not enough that you're collecting pedal. You like no. found you need. I needed something stupid that I like. I can't monetize in any way. I can't make yeah. my job. So um, I found this guy and his. I like. I stumbled against these are so weird. And then I looked at his like other items for sale, and it was all just bootleg trolls. Like troll figures and they kept stumbling he had a ton of these and i bought the whole collection from him because i just thought they were like they're too weird i need to keep them i this is a uh, um roman he is a, a oh troll force gosh. roman soldier I whose hair like... is like falling apart why are his knees broken <laughs> forward and because backwards they're just the weird they bizarre... just took he-man and put a this troll is, head on it this is like the real this is like a wrestler one That's but he Hulk looks Hogan like he looks like a troll head bell he needs like that a... She's he a looks fan like of a wrestling. Christian, it looks like a Christian wrestler. Well, it, it looks, no, for real, it looks like if you went into like a Christian bookstore in the 80s, they had like action yeah. figures that were wholesome. Yeah. You know what I'm talking this, about? Yeah. This is the robot. <laughs> this is Metal Man, the Troll Force Metal Man. <laughs> that um, is a nightmare machine. Yes. They're, they're so terrifying. You have an this entire is, crate of these. How many? This is Green Yuck. <laughs> His name is Green Yuck. <laughs> green and then y-u-k green yuck um i have another one over there but i'm not going to stand back up again but like let's just look at these they're so stupid like i just i had to own them because it was like once again they cost nothing um would you say you're casually acquiring these oh a casually thousand percent casually acquiring these. um oh, yes no. but all right this, one, this guy come on look at him look at his hair that is unbelievable. Look at his awful hair. Yeah, I had to aside this. I've never like, seen a ripped troll. It's so scary. I don't like it. I, I, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Like, I want to know, like, I think about this a lot, and this is probably just like the, like, Aspergian part of me that thinks about this stuff, but I always think about the people in factory who have to, like, make these weird things that exist, and it's just their job, and they get up in the morning, and they, like, make a breakfast and kiss their wife goodbye, and they go in a factory, and they'll spend, like, 12 straight hours making ripped trolls like buff super buff trolls and they just hate they just hate it and they're just like this is my life i make ripped trolls <laughs> or they yeah. love it yeah or they think it's great so um uh all right that's that was my little aside i thought people would appreciate okay. seeing troll force because when are you going to see troll force in your day-to-day -day life and now you know that it exists and that image is going to be in your head forever Forever, are we yeah. rapidly? Do we are any? We've kind of yeah. read the comments. Yeah, there's no pressing yeah. questions. This is. I want to say trolls. this crew that hangs out with us here. It's like five, six hundred. It's amazing, the fact um, that, and I love that uh, Daniel and I are just. We're just going to start approaching this show oh, a little more podcasty. Wait, I do have something. You do. I oh do. boy, God help us. We already just saw power treasure trolls. Yeah. What do we got here? Um, All right. So. I know you have sometimes have an issue with like the anxiety of things that you get that like that you don't have. I'm so fearful of what's about to happen. Whatever. I have anxiety right now. Yes. Um, I can feel it from you. The, <laughs> now it's time to watch you know, Josh the anxiety of like, down. am I ever going to get that? And sometimes you can, and other times you're never going to get it. Ever, 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 ever. I'm never gonna get it. And sometimes that pedal may be by design not for Josh. Okay. I don't know where I'm trying I'm tracking. I feel I feel what you're saying. Okay. I'm afraid. What is happening? How's it going? Oh my Josh? god. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> He travels Hello, like everyone. the wind. He literally <laughs> travels like the wind. He's like a spirit. He How's it going? Jordan it's Jordan is a spirit who never sleeps. <laughs> no. I got extra not sleep this time to get here so early. So there's a lot of I made him leave the house at like seven AM. There's a lot of things that are lining up. Daniel earlier yeah. during the check was like he was like, If I'm over here, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah that was clever actually i was uh, impressed with that i'm like i, I was guess, wondering about that. i guess that's where i'm gonna sit so yes um so uh um i'm pedal has, so afraid pedal has been constructed that by design is specifically not for you and never for you 
So <laughs> okay. brief history, brief yeah. history on this for, for people who don't know the story. And, and obviously Josh has no idea okay. where this is going, but so I have no idea. Sometime at the end of last year, Josh and I were having a conversation about our favorite circuits we had ever made. And a lot of this was preliminary to when we came and did the episode where we released the Addison Crook. And I'd mentioned to him this one really cool pedal that we made forever ago i don't know if you want to hold that up to the camera oh i have one closer. i'm one of the few people that has this right so we yeah. made 50 of them and when i was telling josh about it i was like yeah it was a circuit i really really loved but we only made 50 you will never get your hands on one of them who got and one so maybe a week later i just get tagged on instagram Josh sends a picture, says challenge accepted. I was like in the middle of like an audio gig for like a church too. And you could like audibly hear me like sigh, like while it was going on too. It was like, ah. Oh. So a lot of people have asked me about that pedal, especially since the show came out. And it was a really cool, fun thing we did with this brewery called Single Cut, where it was actually, we made this pedal, which is a fuzz that- Wait, are we, did we lose sound again? I see you in the program. Are people saying we're losing sound? I just saw someone says Duncan. sound. No sound. Hmm. I I see you in the program. I don't know. That's weird. We're gonna conquer. We're gonna conquer this. What? Nothing. Nothing. Hello. It's like the TNB demon. Do you hear him? Hello. Hello I hear again. Him in, I see him in the program. Are we back? No, we can hear him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, great. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Land People need to know this. the horror of We're casually good. saying, and don't ever casually make a joke about no audio on this show. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So to, to finish this whole story, I actually end up finding out who gave him the pedal ends up being this guy, Brian, who like I used to be in a band with when I'm 19. And after I, you know, haze him uh, over and over again about it, I came up with this idea. And this is an idea we've actually had been cooking since before I was even out there back in March and I really wanted to bring this circuit back and I really wanted an opportunity to do it and so we found it and Daniel if you would like to oh God. demonstrate oh God oh this is God. the not for Josh this is a pedal specifically designed <laughs> this is unbelievable. so that Josh Scott cannot collect this pedal mm -mm. not for you they are officially on the poison noises website for anyone who is not named Josh Scott to purchase so yeah. I can't purchase it, but you what if I? Have it. So, is there a challenge here to acquire one of these? No, it's well, actually illegal for you to own. It yeah. Oh, together. there's disclaimers on read the, the pedal. Di read this warning. The pedal. Read yeah, the warning to me. If you want to read it, you can read it. I'll read it. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you, uh, 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 it says, "Oh my God!" Warning: This pedal and box and the box may never be owned, borrowed, or purchased by Josh Scott. He will not have this pedal. He is not going to survive. And then it says. Um, uh, not for Josh in big black letters. Upon purchasing this pedal, you will have to click a disclaimer saying you are not Josh That's Scott incredible. and you will never give it to him ever. Yeah. Don't don't be the Bobo. Don't let him have it. Mm -hmm. I got to find is, one of these. Is, don't do not. As of right now, there are a hundred in the world and we're going to keep making them for about a month. Anyone wait, who wants one can I, have one wait. as long as they're not Josh. Hold on. My tummy feels. What is that? Where did this come from? What? <laughs> what in the world? Did that come from your tummy? It came from my tummy. Wow. How'd you do that? What is... Hold so on. if I can't have it, what is this? Oh. I have a not for Josh. This must mean not for Josh Scott. Oh my God. Like Joshua Heath Scott cannot have this because my name is Josh. So you... You... The fact that it's in, I hate this. It's been, I mean, they've had, I think that's that one right there in Joshua's hand has been there since before I was there last time. If yeah. that's any perspective for I've, how long this has been going on. I've hidden it from you. Mm. It's been in and my it, tummy for like a year. And he's, yeah. he's not the only one. We're going to be rolling out. I'm more determined. And more I'm determined to own one of these by the next TNB. Don't you, do it. You, you Nobody le helped you. You legally can't. Yeah, you can't. We, do it. You're not allowed. We Here's... contracted the CIA to assassinate you if you yeah. ever get one. All right. I have I have helpers. You know who you are. Don't help we're, them. We're don't gonna help figure them. this don't out. We're gonna figure yeah, this don't out. Ruin, don't ruin it for everyone else. Just don't. Don't let him have it. There's finally a pedal out there that Josh can never have. Well, I'm the, listen, I'm the cheesecake factory of pedals. You know what I'm and saying? This ain't on the menu. It's not. You can't have it. Yeah. Okay. An important thing to do 
is go to the Poison Noises website, purchase yeah. the Not For Josh pedal, if oh you are God. in fact not Josh Scott, and then go on your social medias of choices and uh, uh, tell the world. Yeah, tag Josh in it. Let him yes. know that you Let have him it. Let know that you have it. That's also super important. He doesn't have it. This is going to be really painful. He, he legally cannot own it. Um, it actually has a picture. I don't know if you saw this. It has a little tiny picture of you, and it's oh. crossed out. He can hold it. He can hold it's Joshua's. He just can't play it. Can I or see it? it? No. Borrow it. No, no, it says, don't, that would no, count as, as borrowing. No, because as he gets his hands on it, he's oh, dead. Oh, that's that true. You can hold borrowing. it in front yeah, of his yeah, face. Yeah. I guess if he doesn't, if he doesn't hold it, yes. then then he's not borrowing it. Yes. I guess, and that doesn't break the it law. It looks <laughs> honestly, it looks amazing. I'm so angry. I just yeah. threw the link in I, the chat. You, you you can look but not touch or borrow. Or if play. you do, if you buy one of these, put on a uh, Pearl Jam Vitalogy and listen to Not for You. I feel. There's a there's an energy there that's fitting. Just make it make it the song in the post when they make it the when song they tag in the post. you in it. You know. Someone says, "What is it based on?" So yeah, all right. So people my who don't greatest know fear, is, right? <laughs> we we talked about it a little on the show. So essentially, what it is is it's it's an overdrive and a fuzz that run in parallel together that you can blend between the two with it's, independent gain controls. So it uh, is the amp punch circuit. It is the uh, amp punch. It's we probably my it back. it's my fav it's my favorite of your drive pedals. I think it's my favorite too. It's really so good. It so essentially, it's like a high headroom, hard clipper that blends into like an op amp style muff thing. Is kind of what it is. It's 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 unique. I play mine all the time. That's actually amp punch number one there because that's literally the only one that I have left because I assumed they were unobtainium, but I was wrong. But now we have we have an answer to that problem. This is um, the worst ending to the show I've ever experienced. Yeah, my head. I, I bet I bet you it could get worse. I bet you it could get worse. All right, I have a campaign. I will own one of these in one month. If so, you, I, I keep track of all the serial numbers too. I will know who gives okay. it yeah. to Here's Josh. My I know. Here's my promise to the JHS public. I will do everything in my power because I see all of Josh's mail before he gets here. Mm -hmm. I will do everything in my power to make yep. sure one of these never ends up in his hands. So Good luck, this Buttercup. Is, this is the point of the Mortal Kombat battle. Yeah. Where... Josh is like this. He's doing this. And his down, body's down, doing down. this. We'll launch. And I'm gonna freaking murder then, somebody. Then, Hold, then on. The big... Hold on. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. You have one too. There's two. I'm gonna end up with one. I'm gonna uh, go ahead, Daniel. I hate this. All right. So Josh is Josh is doing. He's standing, and his little his little arms are wobbling. He's like, whoa. He's dazed. He's dazed right oh yeah it's this and then, it's the like and then the and then the letters the big letters come up you know what those letters say what do those letters say finish him <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> ladies and gentlemen may i present grab grab my the one i this, thought was the best oh my gosh let me l ladies and gentlemen may i present the Stromer Electronics Super Fuzz, Super Fuzz, Super Fuzz, Super Fuzz this, console. This is the worst day of Josh Scott's life. I thought that I had forever. Stromer is a deceiver. <laughs> he said. <laughs> this is a nightmare. This yes. is a nightmare. This. I don't know how this works. It's so complex. I was, I was shocked how good this actually sounds. Oh, it sounds incredible. It's, um, this is, uh, it has an effects loop in it. There's all these like switchings where I can change like order and like groupings. Um, but it is, uh, I don't know how you one up this. <laughs> you thought you were so cool coming at me with your super fuzz, super fuzz, super fuzz. All right. Well, I have 30 days. So what happens now if one of you dies? Are you mad? I think we're now eternal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that this feud. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm going to make a separate video on just exploring this thing because it would you have take to. days. Do a TMB. Uh, go watch. Go to normal behavior on Instagram. Daniel, yeah, you have and, to do uh, a demo. Well, I'll, I'll make some videos of oh, this what's thing. This? Father Jordan said, holy crap, Emily Hopkins just posted a video with a not for Josh pedal. Huh. I'm gonna murder I'm gonna murder. <laughs> Hold on.
Oh, it's gonna keep going. <laughs> yeah, it hold just, on. It doesn't. It doesn't stop. I, I want to. It Josh, just clicked. Josh. It just clicked. What's going on? You have Josh. sent them to Josh. people, Josh. and you're gonna watch torment. This. Watch this. Look. <sighs> That's not mine. That one's not mine. Oh, this, this is, is mine, James. by the way. <laughs> this is uh, this is the not for Josh pedal. This the is the fuss, most super fuss, super fuss, super cruel fuss genius thing. I got to give it to you, man. Oh, yeah. There's there's posts all over social media. Hey, I hate um, also this is Desert Patrol. You don't have Desert Patrol. Either. I don't have that either. All right, I have thirty days. Thank you, everybody. Jordan, for real. I'm so pissed and <laughs> just full of like pleasure for this site. Like it's such a good, wholesome. This is the fun we need on the internet. But I'm really, I'm really broken right now. I want you to keep in mind that there was a point in time where I had a pedal with your face on it that you didn't know about at the same time that I had a pedal with Addison's face on it that he didn't know about. Oh. And I was talking to both of you separately on Marco, trying not to confuse my conversations with the two of you. And thank God for Joshua and everyone over and Bell and everyone who was a part of helping me keep all of this together. Cause it has been, it has been a lot Amazing. of trials and tribulations. Okay. How are, gonna, how are you gonna sleep tonight? I'm not, I'm not, but Just it's like fine. Me. It's fine. This has been fun. Has it? It is. I got to get off here and get my strategy. I got to go get some lunch at Subway and then get my strategy together. He's sick. Josh, look how, look how big this is. All right. He Unbelievable. Brought a, he brought this to me in a tote bag. Unbelievable. Well, I'm going to shut this down out of anger and the need to eat. Mm -hmm. Go. I have to help promote this because it's so genius. Go to Poison Noises. <laughs> buy this thing. <laughs> Because I need you to buy them all so I can figure out one of you that will leak it to me. Because yes. you exist. There's always a there's always a leak. I'm begging you, JHS time. community, please. JHS, Poison Noises, Tiny Media Empire, all three communities. Do not send mm -hmm. Josh Scott one of these. I'm gonna figure no. it out. If you no. I'm gonna figure bad out a way. things will happen to but everyone remember, here. It's a sick pedal. <laughs> and Stromer, I I'll deal with that later. All right. I Maybe we like should send him a nap for Josh. Pell. We definitely should send him a nap. I got Josh one Pell. here for him. He can definitely yeah. have one. As long uh, as he sends it, shows a picture Josh. of it to Josh. Well, it's Stromer, so it's like he wants everything he makes himself. So you need to send him the circuit so he can assemble it and build an enclosure. That's like can you a... put four of them in parallel together? Maybe. <laughs> um, I feel All like right. we haven't talked. We haven't talked about. We we had a good streak. Where we were talking about Stromer every single episode. Stromer was like the whole origin of the show. Yeah, yeah. and then. Um, all right, y'all. Everybody, thank you so much this is, for watching. This is sparkle wrapped like a like a custom. Yeah, it's shiny. I'm cutting y'all off because I'm no. I'm angry. Bye. I'm going to Subway. Go Bye. buy this pedal. Uh, contact me. My Instagram is at Joshua Heath Scott. The first of you to get me one of these, I'll hook you up with something you I will, can't turn down. I will down. ban you from the All right. JHS This has been great. Send it to you. Love you guys. You. Thanks. For, uh, there's one of you out there who's definitely going to leak this to me, and I'm really appreciative. You'll be, you'll be dead out. to us. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye.